invited in. Here we go. You've seen the first part, I hope. If not, I'll have a link to that in the uh, description. Uh, this is the second part of a two-part video. And uh, it's running long, so I'll <clears throat> try to cut it in about half. Uh, I don't like to put up too long a video. and These are already longer than I like. Uh, they're both going to be beyond 20 minutes. But uh, here we go. We'll, we'll jump right into gluing this bowl together and sanding it and finishing it. And uh, you can stay tuned and see how it turned out for me. Got that pretty well lined up, I believe. As you can see right here, if you can see that on camera. I'm going to let that glue get a little bit tacky before I mess with it. I might even put it in the press just like it is and uh, get those two rings set the way I want them before I put the third one on. So let me give it a few minutes and I'll see if I can uh, get the other ring on without messing this one up. Someone asked me in the comments on the last video, they wanted to see me do some of the sanding. So I've moved my drill press over on my bench where I can get the camera to it easier and get a little more light on it. And on this bowl, I'm going to use this little, this made to fit in the drill. I'm using it on the drill press. It works real well. But I've got some extra long sandpaper tubes for it. And that works really well. It sands all the way up and down very nicely. And I have, a, I won't get against it, press against it hard. I got a good backing there. And it's all pretty solid. So this is a straight sided bow. And that's what I'm going to use is this. I'm not going to use the uh, inflatable pad, inflatable sander or the pads. I might use the sand, pad sander on the outside later. Uh, but uh, this is what I'm going to use. I'm going to start with this. I think it's a 80 grit. That's one I'm going to start. And this won't take a lot to line these up. The biggest thing would be get those drill marks out of it. You've got three drill marks there. Before I start, I'm going to scrape some of that glue out of there. The glue is probably the biggest problem for me in those joints. Even after it's, uh, I scrape it out, as you sand into it, it's still kind of gummy because it's not totally cured by the time I'm ready to sand.
Okay, I'm pretty much through with the preliminary sanding on the interior of the bowl. It worked out really nicely. The mahogany is easy to sand. It's fairly soft, comparatively so. Um, that's not all the sanding I'm going to do. I'm going to shape it a little bit once we get it all together. But the next step is to glue the base on, and I'll do the outside. And I do believe we're going to be okay. If you look at that from that angle, you can see it lines up. When you sand that down, it's going to be matched up. So, when I first pulled that off the saw, I kind of panicked when I saw it didn't fit and it was it didn't match up and that ring was so large. But that one degree change in the next two rings solved that problem. It's just a matter of some extra sanding. So, let me get the base glued on and then I'll probably do this on the belt sander, but I'll think about it when I get there. I got the base glued on and everything lining up pretty nicely. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some sanding on this belt sander now. And uh, what I like to do, I have this, I have this raised area. That's that first ring that was, uh, was cut at the wrong angle, obviously. I like to get against this round part right here and work that down to match the rest of it and then get up here and kind of sand the whole thing flat and smooth around and try to keep it round as I go. But I want to say this about the belt sander. I've done a lot of sanding on this. And when you're doing something like this handheld and loose, you got to touch it to the belt with deliberate intent. And when I say what I mean by that is you've got to know what's touching and where and what kind of angle the belt is pushing against your piece at. You don't want to get it in a section where it'll grab it and throw it out of your hand. Well, I'm somewhat pleased with the way it's coming together. I got a little more sanding to do on the outside to get some of the little uh, ripples out of it. 
It's not real bad, but uh, that did line up once I sanded it down. Um, thought it was a lost cause when I first started out, but I believe we've saved it. So what I'm going to do now, I think I'm going to get the inflatable sander on the grill press, and I'm going to try to shape this right in here, thin this down, and put a little bit of a, uh, a flare on it. And then I'll get my, my little flexible pad sander and do a, I got some real fine sandpaper for it. I'll do a, a sanding on the outside and sand the bottom and get the glue out of the, out of the sides and the little corners down there. I scraped as much as I could, but it needs to be sanded a little bit. So, uh, like I say, a little shaping and then a little final sanding to get everything kind of smooth and finished. Well, this is the little inflatable sander. See, it's like a little balloon. You're supposed to inflate it to where that just stays on. Because you want it to be flexible. And you inflate it through that right there. You can also release it right there. I've inflated it one time. <clears throat> you see it's a little crooked now, but once you get it on and get against your work, you can straighten it up. But I've never seen an instructional video, I've never read any instructions on this. Uh, you have to kind of have a little technique because uh, to keep that on and sand at the same time. Because if you get against it the wrong way, it'll it'll flip, slip right off, even with it inflated. So, I'm going to try to shape the top lip of that bowl with this. i got a real coarse one to start with. Just basically, I'm not going to go real fancy. Just thin it down and give it a little bit of a flare. And then I may go to a lighter grit and kind of try to finish it off.
Well, I hope you can see that. Kind of got a, a little flare, a little taper on it. Still got some cleaning up to do on it. I'm going to put a lighter uh, sandpaper on it and kind of smooth all that off a little bit. Now I got this little flex, flexible pad sander. It's just a two inch. It works real nice inside the bowl. And I usually kind of finish the outside of the bowl with it. I've got a 240 grit. Um, I've got all the way from 60 up to even higher than that. But I usually stay in this range, kind of smooth everything off for the final sanding. I really like to usually get down in the bottom, get all that cleaned out down there. I'm going to call that good on that sanding. I'm going to do a little hand sanding. Just some loose sandpaper in my hand. Get a little final uh, smoothing on it. And then I'm going to put some, probably some, uh, kind of some mineral oil on it. I just kind of want to bring the grain out on it a little bit. And uh, I'll be back here in a little bit and we'll see what it looks like. So there it is. I'm going to call it. I put some mineral oil, food grade mineral oil in it. And the mahogany stands out pretty nice when you do something like that. It's not perfect. I am, it's got some places that don't line up really nicely. Uh, well, it doesn't look bad. I'm not totally unhappy with it, especially considering a few hours ago I had uh, called this project dead. Uh, but I continued on and managed to make it go together. <clears throat> It's not the exquisite bowl I envisioned when I started this project, or this video. Uh, but I'm learning it takes more than 8 or 10 or 12 bowls to get really good at this. Especially when you're learning something different, or trying something different, on every bowl. But I'm going to keep going. I think I am getting better with each bowl. Uh, I'm shaping a little better and learning the sanding process a little better and building the blanks and knowing where you got to be precise when you're doing something with a pattern like this. So anyway, I'm going to call this done. I may revisit this bowl later when I get a little more practice because I really like this idea. Uh, I'm going to uh, say this is, this is it for this one, for this week's video. And uh, I'm not sure what the next one is. I haven't looked that far ahead because I was really concentrating on this one. I hope you like that. It, it makes a nice looking bowl. It's, like I say, it's not as exquisite as I wanted it to be. And uh, 
uh, still kind of a practice bowl because uh, I don't guess you ever get through practicing. Anyway, uh, if you like that, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I got more of these bowls, and some of them are kind of little vases and various things from some odd shapes uh, to come. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to chance any more mahogany and exotic woods on one. Uh, probably some, but mahogany is not too expensive. And I really like the way it works. So anyway, I hope you like that. If you do, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Uh, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.